and welcome to NEI Plugins. So this is um, a tricky one to do because obviously the plugins is kind of part of NEI as well. But I'm going to see how we get on. I'm going to look through um, uh, maybe some additional things that I didn't mention in the uh, NEI episode. And also um, uh, just go through a lot of recipes. It's something that I like to do and I've gone through it in uh, pretty much since all the 164 stuff started coming out. I've been going through a lot of the recipes. So one of the coolest things actually, um, uh, and perhaps, but I'm not sure, I'm not even sure if this is part of NEI or plugins, but I'm going to, I'm going to cover it in this. It's obviously best to watch both the NEI and the NEI plugins. This one's going to be a bit more focused towards recipes though. Um, if you press O here, um, it said, uh, for more options, um, we actually get this new menu, which is, um, pretty cool. I'm using a monster at the moment, 1641, uh, it's 1.03, um, and you can see we've got um, there's all the Minecraft controls there, um, an armor uh, GUI, is that an armor GUI. Really? Oh, it takes you straight to there. Of course, in this uh, Tinker's Construct uh, menu, only the knapsack and the heart container actually do anything. Uh, but I guess that that will change. Uh, pretty cool. So O oh, gets you straight in there. Uh, pretty cool. And of course, if you put the naps that you get the third tab there on that menu. Okay, so that was uh, a little aside. Um, let's go back here. Configure all. So wow, so we get the whole, the whole, the whole lot here. Um, and so, if, for instance, we've got some. Uh, uh, hmm, placement modifier for the forge micro belt. That must be new. Uh, I've got some advanced genetic stuff. Going to be ever looking at looking at uh, advanced genetics. I couldn't find that. I didn't find that worked um, when I last did it. But I have realised actually that advanced genetics is um, uh, is yeah is hmm. and there's also these whaler recipes. I didn't actually. I think I even covered these in the whaler episode. These are whaler recipes. It's kind of the thing is that I'd like to use my numpad keys for different stuff. So as you can see, anyway, there's a lot of stuff. One of the very cool things, though, is this one, the conflicting menu, and it just it just has all the uh, all the menu, all the um, uh, shortcuts that are conflicting. So yeah, I mean, and that's one of the things with one six four because there's been a lot of mods added. It's been it's been basically impossible to to have nothing conflicting. Um, well, I mean, well, it's probably not impossible, I suppose. I mean, there probably are enough keys on the keyboard to do it. Um, but yeah, it is one of those. It's one. It is an issue, I think. Um, but yeah, that's a good way to clear that. Hmm. Uh, Vanilla sprint. Yeah. I've still not found a good solution to the whole sprinting issue. Um, I'd really like one key, which just. Uh, I'd I'd really just like to be able to sprint from still. I'd just like to press W and then be sprinting the whole time. But it doesn't seem that that's how, how it seems to work. Um, uh, yeah, Marry culture, I have to do that one soon as well. So yeah, now obviously one of the uh, the cool things is that you can get straight into the plugins menu going here. Um, so let's see what we've got in this one. Um, well, we've got a few things here. Um, so we can look at, uh, for instance, the assembly table. This is something which, uh, yeah, I mean, let's let's go through some recipes then, because um, I haven't, I haven't, I suppose I haven't looked at build craft and industrial craft for quite a while, really. A lot of my episodes on build craft and industrial craft are fairly old, actually, um, and there's been some huge changes. Uh, the pipe wire situation in uh, more colours, the chipsets. But this pipe plug is a very interesting addition, so we avoid crossover of pipes. That's been around, I would guess that's probably been around, I think 1.6, maybe the first time it's come Yeah, it is, it is the first time it's come in. Um, um, may, maybe it was around at the end of 1.5. Um, it was updated, but I think a lot of a lot of the stuff, because they sort of target, don't they? Um, so we've got our old classics here. Um and then we have some new ones, control circuit. And I think one of the things that I've actually noticed is that the way I do things in the uh, redstone section, 
Um, because I've been doing it, obviously, um, I started Redstone, I did, you know, it's a brief history of how I've been doing that. Redstone, I did all the gates first, and I went up, I basically went up to anything uh, uh, that wasn't, you know, moving on from a basic gate. And so nothing, no resettable, no, no bud or anything like that. Um, but, and then, and then, and then what I did is I changed things up, and, I, and I'm using this, this new system based on the kind of the wiki, um, which is looking at power control and mechanism, um, sorry, power transmission and mechanism. And um, and I found that to be quite cool, actually. Um, yeah, we've got Gendistry Quarry Plus. Hmm, um, very interesting. Yeah, Quarry Plus is I'm going to have to look at, actually. Um, there's also these marker pluses, which are interesting. Um, I have to look at that stuff. So yeah, this is going to be plugins. It's going to be also a recipe guide. So yeah, just to keep informed of what's coming up. Uh, yeah. So yeah, so all these things have been actually been updated in this Quarry Plus stuff. And this is all in the assembly table. And this, and yeah, this and this counts as a plugin, um, which is interesting. Uh, so yeah, very very interesting. There's all these these plus things here, laser pl and there's even a laser plus. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to try scrolling through these fast. I have had some problems sometimes when I scroll through things fast, but I think maybe these uh, releases are getting better now. So hopefully we won't run into any problems here. Get some there. So there. Nice glass from Railcraft there. Infernal Furnace. Hmm. Infernal Furnace. Blast Furnace. I want to build. I want to. I'm going to really start working on these multi blocks. It's been too long since I've done any multi block stuff. I did actually do the Thorncraft multi block there. That was a cool one. So I don't think we're going to see much more in the way of interesting things here. Let me just scroll through, just check. There's nothing else here beyond facades. And there was something else actually. Okay, so you can make the basic process of uh, um, uh, applied logistics there. For some reason, uh, that one's, uh, hmm, I don't know why that's there. Refinery, biomass, ethanol. Okay, so I need to cover the pages then. That's the build craft section. Uh, the factorization section, I believe, is still a work in progress. Um, crystallizer. Um, okay, so this takes in, so factorization's clearly got some linkages with random things. I haven't looked at random things yet. Um, there's also meteor craft as well. I didn't know it's meteor craft. Some of the, um, there's been a few changes. I mean, this is, um, obviously I'm making this um, just a, a sort of a beginning of 2014. Um, been a few changes even since, uh, even in the last few days. Um, so there's a few more mods, Lycanite mods, uh, mobs, I believe, is also there. Aquaregia, that was, uh, that's been around for a while, Aquaregia. Um, and crystalline stuff. Well, I guess you expect that. Hmm. This, I guess, has not been fully implemented yet. Because this doesn't make, I imagine there's a supposed to be boxes and arrows and stuff. Uh, it's not clear. It's not clear at all. Input output. Um, this I imagine will get updated. And if we look at the, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go into. Oh, the slag furnace is okay there. Um, um, yep. So you get these, and then there's a. 580%. Really? 
That seems excessive. That would make it because I know that. Yeah, I think that um, rotary craft is is apparently five times. I mean, yeah, I mean it could be more. If that's five hundred, if you get if you're getting five red, well, actually no, that doesn't. Mm. That's funny, isn't it? Yeah, I never thought of it that way. Actually, I suppose with things like redstone and lapis, you get more anyway. Um, so it's not necessarily that good. Um, so they get hundred and. Hmm. I wonder why refined iron is there. Yeah, I haven't looked at it. I remember the last time I looked at factorization, it was uh, it was it was not a uh, it was a very much a development version. Uh, so I definitely want to look at it again. Cobalt. I think cobalt's only in the Nether. Ardite probably as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's have a look at forestry. So we've got the centrifuge. Uh, of course, much of the uh, the breeding stuff is can be uh, uh, sorted out with the, the frames and stuff. Oblivion frame, I believe, is what is what is the item of choice. It does it does make it's a bit strange though? Because why have all the biome humidity and temperature stuff then? Hmm. This is no. This is a place where the old dictionary name is of no use because it's all just bee comb. So yeah. So there's the refractory wax has been in there for a very long time, since the beginning, I believe. Honey drops, honey juice. They're all. They've all been in there for a long time. Crystalline pollen. Uh, yeah. There's not as many combs. There was a time when the amount of combs, especially when extra bees came along, it absolutely ex exploded with the amount of bees. That was probably the peak time for bees, and I've noticed in recent times the amount of bees is is, uh, is going down. The popularity seems to be declining. Um, uh, so yeah, and there's not as many good items that you can get. Hmm. That's from mundane comb. See, I don't recall this being part of magic because I never even looked at magic bees, and I still remember it. I mean, things, things like, hey, I, mean, I don't remember this being around. Mun maybe I'm thinking of mundane potions. Hmm. Yeah. Some. I mean, I can tell. I mean, I can tell. That the, obviously the magic wax stuff is, is very different we've got some nice combs fiery comb, watery comb earthy comb yeah one of the things I was doing in Ars Magica actually is I was building huge uh, bri bridges with the uh, yeah, with, that, with that cool wand that lets you just do huge platforms basically lets you do world edit without world edit um, or yeah or MC edit or whatever it might be um and yeah, and I know it's a good way to get all the elementals that you want. Simply, if you just have a, simply just have a huge platform over an ocean, you just I just get millions of the water elementals. And I imagine if I did a platform over the right terrain, it's just exactly the same thing would happen. So that's going to be interesting. Um, and I've been looking for angles of how to do Thorncraft Four and um, Ars Magica Two because they're big, they're big, they're big things. And I'm and I often don't, I don't want to do it in so, too conventional a way. Um, I did, a, I did. Um, um, I did what's it? Uh, um, yeah, I did uh, blood magic. I didn't quite conventional. I'm happy with that blood magic. I think I will carry on doing carpenter. So we can see we've got uh, traditional things like water and creosote. Um, watch my railcraft uh, beginnings of railcraft episode. Uh, you can see how I did that. I extracted the creosote. Um, so make some rails. I'd like to do more stuff with rails. One of the very cool things about the creative one is that you can literally can place down thousands of rails at a time in, in a very very simple way. Um, before I've been using 
and I think it is 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 well. I mean, it's going to replace the where you'd, I've done things uh, traditionally, which is with the architect table and the builder. Um, and obviously, this new stuff in Quarries Plus. I'm not. I'm not sure that's going to be added to. It could be though. It could. It could well be. There's also an item in Rotary Craft that I've seen, which is. Um, I believe I believe it takes up the fill R functionality, but then again, I'm not sure what the fill R functionality is because I haven't used a, I haven't used third-party programs, and I don't really want to because I don't think there will be there's any need ever to use third-party programs uh, in Minecraft uh, uh, for Minecraft. I think anything that can be done third-party pro, uh, programs can be done in the game. Um, and yeah, and, and I would like to see um, wood pulp. No, I wouldn't like to see what part. I'd like to see more um, integration as you know Minecraft sort of continues development and towards a, you know, basically towards an operating system. I think is is it's fairly obvious that's the way it's going. Broken shovel. Hmm. So we've got traditional crated stuff now. It's just it's just uh, just re recap everything. Yeah, tin tin is forestry, e masher, thermal expansion, rotary craft. Oh, magical crops as well. I think there's actually a way to get it to stop moving. Mm, no well. Yeah, this is oh there's a, there's lots of little little things in any eye which uh you know, which I tend to remember from time to time. Just just on the spur of the moment. Mm. There's a fertilizer, I haven't used that much. The stamp I haven't done that either. It's not much not much use really. Um I guess unless you, could, I wonder if you could use that in sort of ender chest sort of way. Probably not. I think it's more for multiplayer stuff. Module. I think this is. Uh, yeah, I was about to say logistics pipes because they're part of it now. Funny enough, I only ever did one episode of log logistics pipes about cooking an egg from Divine RPG, and it was ridiculously popular. I just didn't understand that at all. A lot, a lot of these things I really don't understand why something is more popular than others. Um, you know, there's so many different factors you can think of. Like, you know, is it the uh, the, the amount of time the video lasts? Is it the clear explanation? Often, why, often I'm very, really happy with saying something. Like, yeah, I've done a really good explanation of that, and I've done it in a very, you know, succinct way, and it doesn't get the views. I'm like, what? And then something which is just a, literally just a, a rant. Yeah, it just gets way more views. So so stupid. Doesn't make any sense. I don't know. It does. It's just. It just. It 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 really boggles the mind of what you know. There's no. There doesn't seem to be. What does this say? Oh dear. I mean, yeah, it just it just boggles the mind, really. Uh, yeah, I never did anything with the electron tubes either. It's like gem. So there's a link between forestry and rotary craft, and I'm I'm constantly on the lookout for these links. Uh, you know, you wouldn't have thought cinnabar is is, is linked with both the thorncraft and thermal expansion, but it is. So it's like. I mean, the more of these linkings you see, you see um, honestly, I don't even look at the old dictionary stuff because if it's got the same name, the old dictionary doesn't tend to matter that much. Uh, of course, if it doesn't actually work, then it will matter. But I don't know. I'm more of a creative player anyway. I think it's very, very difficult to to seriously play um, uh, mods in in survival. Um, you're never going to get the most out of it if you're just doing survival. Um, you're always you're always going to um, 
yeah it's just not going to be it's not it's, there's all there's really really no point because there's um yeah maybe there is i don't know i can't see though i can't see myself doing survival in um um certainly not in the i mean like for instance if i i could i mean i could imagine doing say a survival series in one two five mods or even one four two but i think it's always going to be that way you're never gonna it's never going to be the new pack comes out and you instantly want to do a survival in it because it's always it's always going to be the that's this looks too much like shiny what was it yeah i think thermal expansion platinum and shiny ing ingots because yeah because because platinum changed into osmium didn't it Platinum changed to osmium, and I think shiny ingot may have actually been the same. And I wonder if shiny... I don't think shiny even exists anymore in a thermal expansion. Hmm. We're we getting some squeezer. Hmm. What's going on here? Okay, so this is stuff I didn't know about. So this is why this is useful to look at. I'm just going to briefly just... Mm, that is w That is strange. Fish oil. I'm not sure what fish oil could possibly be used for, though. This is the thing. I've seen there's a lot more liquids now, but what they're used for is... Um, well, the dragonfish takes a lot. I'm also aware that there's um, a variety of machines in Mary culture. Um, yeah, and some of these actually... Uh, some of them are actually in vanilla, aren't they now? With the um, the fishing update. No, it probably wasn't called that, but that was certainly part of it. Okay. So yeah. So I mean, luckily I remember this bit. This is this is a bit I follow fairly closely um, in forestry. Um, because there weren't too many. Well, that's one of the good things about forestry. There's never there's never a huge overload of stuff. Um, like, you know, some of the mods I did. Harvest Craft being one. Harvest Craft is doing very well. And I like I like Harvest Craft. Um, and I've realised one of the things I've noticed actually with videos like that is that people watch it for a very long time, way way longer than. Uh, um, yeah, I mean, for instance, this video because it's called NEI plugins, um, probably won't be watched uh, as much for like a long period of time, but. Um, but something like a harvest craft, because people are looking at harvest craft anyway, they know that, they, you know, people are obviously going to know it's pretty uh, brutal. So, you know, so they know that, you know, this is going to be a series, the loads of recipes. Um, and people like to watch that um, for long periods. Now, whether, whether long periods, you know, I'm getting, getting obviously getting the minutes up, where that makes any difference, I don't know. I don't know. I like to see that. I like to, yeah, you know, I like to think that you know, you know, getting inc huge amounts of minutes on the, uh, you know, and obviously I think about the ratio. But I'll talk more about that sort. Of oh, okay. I didn't even notice that actually. All right. So there's a squeezer, the steel. Uh, this is just for. Biomass, ethanol, bioethanol. Interesting. Okay. Never really used it still, I don't think. Bottle is always quite boring. I did actually use that in one of my forestry episodes, though. I made, I made a fun, uh, funky looking system. I want to get, get into the habit of doing more system stuff. This is certainly new, though. I haven't seen that there. Fermenter. Yeah, juice into biomass. Kelp. Compost, yep, seen that, seen that. K 
kelp. Hmm. So Mary culture looks like it's um plant boy is, is old news. Compressed plant is probably slightly new news. Hmm. Yeah, there haven't been any uh, additions to the trees. Possibly, no. no it, doesn't, it doesn't look too different. I'm not sure it's different at all, to be honest. I think I've mentioned this before. I remember talking about it before. Uh, yeah, I think there's no real difference here. But yeah, there's, there's the... Um, yeah, no, these individual... I guess it's, it's a little bit more fleshed out, I think, you can get. Um, and I wonder um, how far this is integrated with biomes of plenty. I would guess it's quite quite a lot, is the answer to that. Um, I think there's certain biomes. Like if you have an orchard biome in biomes of plenty, you probably get apple trees, uh, forestry apple trees spawning there, naturally. Um, I think that is the case. Yeah. All right. So yeah, there's nothing, nothing hugely exciting on the tree front in the fermenter section here. Um, uh, moistener, moldy wheat mulch, decaying wheat, moldy wheat. Hmm. I know there's dried dirt, isn't there? In uh, biomes of plenty. All right. So did I do all this? Yes, I did. Uh. Okay, so now, okay, let's do this section then. Okay, so yeah, all right. Um, okay, so temperature and humidity. We've got pristine stock there. Okay, so we need, um, all right. Okay, so these are these are fairly obvious ones. What well, the originals? Yeah, the original are these two, aren't they? No, well, the original for, forest and meadows are certainly original. Temperature normal none. Temperature icy up one. Hmm. So it's good to look through this, but obviously without seeing it in a different, it's, it will never, it will never be, this will never really be good. I mean, it's nice to have this, but it won't be really be quite good enough uh, to see. I'll never click on the arrow here. Just takes us straight to the beginning. Okay, that's no use then. Um, tropical and forest, tropical and wintry. The best way to look at this is to look at um, Punnett squares. Is is the way that this is done well. Common and forest cultivated. Cultivated is a good one to have. Yeah. Once you've got cultivated, try to think. There's a noble line. Percentage goes quite low here. That's yeah, so one of these mushrooms. They, most of them need flowers, don't they? Imperial bee, it's a nice bee. Majestic bee. Yeah, I think one. I normally get to about here. No, this is the end. This is the end of the line, is it? You need to look in the um in the proper book, don't you? The book will always be better than this. Well, that's low. So we've got some tool tips on there as well. Hmm. Uh, 
And we've got some extra information there. Uh, nocturnal. I can't remember what diurnal means. I would think. I would always think. I always think this stuff means seasonal, but I, th I think there's no. There are no seasons. Yeah, you can only get um, s uh, sinister bees in the nether, of course, and fiendish. Th fiendish, I believe, is the best actually. Uh, yeah, and you literally can't get them, and they don't do anything outside the nether. Hmm. Uh, But you see, you get some nice percentages on this. This is not like some of the others where it's literally ten percent. You can be. Sh mm, you see, you don't need the pristine ones here. But realistically, I think if you're in the Nether, you're going to get these. Uh, these bees, frugal bee. They're a desert bee. Exotic as jungle, and, and the names actually make quite a lot of sense. Warm, damp jungle. Hmm. Glacial, rural bee, hermetic bee. They require wheat. Yeah, I've never done ones that required wheat. Now we're getting to the sort of magic bee stuff, I think. No, it's still not. Is this only in the end? Hmm. Interesting. I should really look at what it. Mystical bee. Nice. Getting cold of cultivated bees are nice though. Cultivated bees go a long way. Um, interesting. Yeah, it's always good. To, I think it's always good to have a lot, a lot of cultivated and a lot of common. Hmm. I wonder if they've got my... I don't think they have my favourite bee in here, though. Because with them extra bees, um, some very interesting stuff. I was... Uh, what was, it? It was It was along the energetic line. Uh, and I think I think the line actually was, it was the ecstatic. Ecstatic may have been the end. And that one, it was, it was just awesome. Because it, it did, uh, it did lightning storms. If you watch my extra bees episode, it was only a three-minute video, but it's one of my favourite videos I've ever made. On uh, full stop, actually, it's po it possibly, uh, you know, it was just doing a, 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 it was just doing an overworld gold farm in uh, yeah, a foundation of water, a foundation of oak leaves. I wonder how that's defined. Do a look on the wiki. Supernatural. So these are all. This is all forestry. This stuff. Soul B. This is an area which I haven't looked at at all. Uh, arcane. It's interesting. This is not actually uh, magic bees, though. So that's 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 an interesting thing to. Infernal bee, I believe I've seen there. Wow, that is an unusual graphic. I think there actually has been more work with the bees, certainly in terms of the graphics, because these graphics I did not recognise. Nice. Imperial line, of course, yep. Yeah. Industrious, obviously very powerful. The ferrous bee. I wonder if you can get iron from that. Uh. Look at that. I wonder if this yeah. This has always been the thing, isn't it? Oh. Interesting. 
Very interesting. So there's a link between Tinker's Construct as well. Hmm. Ignis, isn't that Thorncraft thing? I think so. Chicken bee? How interesting. Oh, wait. What's that word mean? I think it's a French word. Um, so that's bee breeding. Let's do move on to bee produce now. Okay, so this is more. This is um. So obviously, when you're working with bees, you, you need to look at what line you're going for. Uh, you know, follow. You know, most people say you know follow industrious line or uh, imperial line or something. Um. Yeah, the the journey here is. Uh, I'm just going to stick. I know. I know that royal jelly is important. Um, propolis and pollen, of course. Yeah, you see, this is why people say to go in these lines because you get extra produce. Um, valiant. Yeah, I've definitely got to valiant stage. Um, close to ash. Yeah, valiant is quite an early stage. It's seen as an early stage. But then again, I suppose if I started in a different biome, my experiences would be different if I started with the wintry stuff. Um, and there's cave bees as well, aren't there? I mean, that was that was always the thing. It was where you get the um, the, the hives. And there's ways to... I think you, and you can do more than just a scoop now. Ice shard. You get eggs now. Oh, wow. How cool is that? Cookies and mob heads. Yeah, the bees are certainly looking. This is this is kind of. Um, it looks like they've gone pretty far, but maybe not quite far enough. This is something I don't understand. The tooltip says chisel when that is clearly the ID for a, a, a basic vanilla thing. Law fragment. I'm gonna to have to. I'm gonna to have to get back into the bees really soon. The bee stuff is just fucking awesome, and I and I enjoyed it as well. Yeah, this this is this is nice. Uh, so exactly as I thought. Mm. So this is going to be very useful. This is this is this is basically that means that you've got a completely different uh, method of obtaining ore, um, and it's potentially, especially that one, potentially is. Is is actually going to be better? This could be very interesting, especially using it with something like either with Alvarez or my personal preference would be or would be to use the portal system in um, enhanced portals uh, three. Very very cool. Okay, so this was an area now um, that I didn't look into. It's very. It's um, I didn't look into as much as. Um, yeah, I stopped because because I stopped being into the bees early on. There was the thormic bees, there were the magic bees, and by that stage, I'd lost interest. Um, even though I did sort of follow, I carried on following it. I, I, I looked at a lot of the um, websites and the wikis and uh, spreadsheets that were available just to keep myself um, uh, in the in the in the loop, so to speak. So yeah, this stuff. Hmm. Well, this stuff is. I wonder how you actually introduce the pollen there. It's just, it's just, it's just you just put the bees in there at the same time, don't you? That's it. So, oh, some. 
So this and this and this percentage, I believe, refers to the le to the actual leaves. Uh, so in reality, if you've even got a few trees, you're probably going to get it. Hmm, I think that's what it refers to. So from trees, yeah, this has not been. Um, this is is bound to have more soon. I've seen, yeah. Because I know you can't get iron from as stupid as it sounds. You can't actually get iron from trees. That is that is a thing. This section doesn't work. Okay, so butterfly breeding is yet to be done, and I now gingerstry. I haven't looked at this at all. What does this even do? So that is just it creates something called mutagen. And it looks to be related to nuclear stuff. Hmm. Like I say, you know, I mean, probably more stuff will get added into this section here. Oh, really? Is this a pristine one, though? So I wonder what pristine, I need to look at that. One of the things I should really do is look at the, um, hmm. I'm trying to think, because there was one thing in Extra Beast that I didn't do that was actually part of the core, which were all those, um, which were machines when the, uh, oh, what was it called with the bees, when they were liquefied. It was a it was a genetics thing. I'm gonna have to look at that as well. I want to go back and do some of those things. What was that? Is that a bat in the left? I can see this thing flying in the left of the screen. But anyway, this is interesting though. Because what this is saying. Is that with some fairly simple stuff? This is like a, an apiary. This is an apiary with different um, mutations, which is very, very cool, actually. And the mutations are good as well. Hmm. And I get the feeling that it's probably a case that you could actually get get these things in different biomes and then bring them together here. Unweary is what often you're looking for, unweary. Pristine ignoble. I'm thinking, is that a type of rock? No, it's, not, it's igneous. <laughs> what is it? It's igneous, sedimentary, and metam uh, metamorphic types of rock. I like, I like this sort of new slant towards geology that seems to be coming out as well in the 164 stuff. Okay, so this stuff, um, this stuff is to do with this liquid, the mutagen liquid. I can't say too much about this stuff at the moment because I don't really. No, yeah, I suppose I haven't done the bees enough. I think I might start with this though. This is this is like this is manageable with bees. When extra bees came out, that was when the bees really went absolutely oh, millions. This is more manageable. This includes the trees as well, which is pretty cool. Um, and what this basically is telling me is that uh, this is not going to be. Uh, this is not a. Uh, this doesn't look like there's much chance of this failing either. It just looks like this is just what happens. So it looks like it looks like it's basically a way to to speed this up. Yeah, and look, actually, um, wow, twelve hundred pages. Um, actually, uh, this stuff actually does look like the stuff similar anyway. Like the imprinter, I believe, was one um, from the original stuff. 
And I wonder if this is going to be mixed with advanced genetics. Gendistry. Cultivated June. How are there so many pages here? There's not that many bees. Well, if it's going to crash any time, we're going to get a crash now. Okay, there are a lot. There are a lot of bees, to be fair, and perhaps not even listed in them. And I suppose, it, and there may also be. Um, hmm. There may be. There's very likely to be multiple cases as well between certainly uh, different bread beads. All right, so I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna speed it because this is gonna take far too long. Otherwise, we don't speed it. And I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna hope for the no crash. Oh wow! Now we're getting some funky looking ones. See, this is. You can see that the line is still as massive as ever. Basically means the other sections are not being completed properly. Oh wow! I wonder if it is though. I do wonder. I'm just gonna uh, skip forward like fifty or so. I just you know I, just, I like to just look at all this stuff. Wasser white yeah that's band banded I think I remember. Minium drone, so there's a link between uh, equivalent exchange three as well. So this this is this is the power of the bees. That you can have all these bees that link in with everything else. Um and the reason the bees have become so popular is obviously of course is because oh wait a minute, what was that? So fertility two interesting. Yeah, you see, this is why there's so many. I don't think that there's, you know, there's, there's certainly not a thousand two hundred bees, um, and you see, there's plenty of repetition here. Um, this is always the same in the middle here. Taking for bee temperature tolerance both two. So yeah, so I think this is. Um, Yeah, and one of the good good things that you can do as well in creative mode, um, if you in the, in the uh, there's actually a lot lot of options to spawn in bees of exactly the uh, type you want, um, which is what I'll probably end up doing I think with the bees because it's not it's not worth it to go through the process. It's always worth it I think to to go through the um, to cheat through the process first. Um, and when you cheat, it help cheating actually helps you understand things better. Um, and, and often doing it without cheating, you understand things. It's it's a funny it's a funny thing. I'm sure a lot of people probably disagree with me on this, but I, I honestly believe that cheating first is 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 the best way, and then afterwards not cheating. Um, and I really I really believe that is it's almost is a fundamental kind of tenet of um, how I play the game. Um, I think it's held me in, in good stead as well. Steadfast drone, tolerant flyer, false. Interesting. I just saw that. Tolerant flyer. I wonder what that means. Is that to do with? Because I know you can get injured by the bees as well. I'm waiting for this to crash. I'm, I'm surprised it hasn't. Um, so this one has to be um, by a Thorncraft node. There's, there's different types of nodes, aren't there? There's a hungry node, I believe, in Thorncraft. Is is the is like all, you know the cool new node in Thorncraft, the hungry node. Because of course you're using the. Uh, yeah, I've looked at Thorncraft for, and it's sort of like a sort of uh, the research system. I have to admit, is, is look, I'm a bit wary of it. It doesn't look as good. Um, I may be proved wrong because it just looks like you just go around stuff and you just scan it, looking through a sort of um, you know piece of glass the thermometer I'm not sure I'm not sure 
there does seem to be because one of the reasons why obviously my thorncraft 3 part 3 videos is the most popular video i've ever done um on uh on minecraft in any in any shape or form with over five thousand views at the moment um and that was because that was just it was just it was just exciting with you know that video we had the crystal cluster and that, that incredible light light show and then i put all the golems in there and i just shoved in loads of witches and it was just it was just a absolute clusterfuck of awesome you know um and and yeah i, just, I don't know i just i just enjoyed that so much um but this is the cool thing thormic flowers so all the thormic stuff okay so this is important this is actually important for me to to recognize here that this stuff this is actually thormic bees but it's in now the forestry for minecraft section and this is this is something which is incredibly important to notice because the thing about this is that like Is that, is that when mods get incorporated, it's, you have to. You, this is why it's good to do them separately as well. Hmm. All right, let's speed this up a bit now. Let's speed it up. And we've got avenging drone, vengeful drone. Taken for being territory largest, gender tree. Hmm. Oh no, I suppose this is all gender tree, isn't it? Okay, see so when gets to the end. This is taking quite a long time now. But I'll look at I'll look at some of the stuff on the way, similar to what I've just been doing. I mean, how, I mean, how else can you really go through uh, twelve hundred pages without doing it? Uh -huh. Taken from a butterfly. I'm not seeing anything interesting. These are all the different butterfly species. Size average. So these are some of. Uh, size average so looking at looking at sort of the um the variables okay size doesn't say, i don't think the butterfly stuff has been as fleshed out there's the flutterizer and the escritoire lifespan is another factor See what else we've got here. Fertility and metabolism are factors with butterflies. Interesting. These are things I didn't actually know. And there's the whole caterpillar thing as well, I think. I wonder if we're going to see any of this. Temperature tolerance, same sort of DDO. Let's skip ahead a bit. Nocturnal. So there's similar sort of stuff. Um... But some some different things fire resistance tolerant flyer yeah so i think i think that's what that's certainly a nice way to look at it um oh they need flowers as well do they hmm. it's a nice way to look at it um looking at the different variables um and, and to be honest that would possibly be a better way of sorting it as well height no that's different Oh no, sorry, we're on trees now already. When do we move on to trees? Oh well. So I know most of the variables are trees. So the rest of this is going to be uh, the tree stuff. Okay. Fertility as well as an issue with trees. Uh, all right. So I think, yeah, I think we've pretty much covered this now. Take a look at something plant. Hmm. I wonder what that means. That seems to be not filled in yet. Sappiness, of course. All right, so we have well, we have covered it. I mean, obviously, I missed a few, but I'd be here. It would just be take too long if I didn't do it like this. And then girth as well, classic one. Is girth, how we're going to end it? It looks that way. All right. Is that four by four? I thought it was three by three. All right, so yeah, let's check out the imprint. Oh, okay. Well, it's a bit less than 1,217 pages, this one. All right. Genetic template. Tin, magical crops. Yeah, Tinker's Construct. Yamasha, forestry, rowcraft, 
Nether tin. Where's Nether tin gone? I saw Nether tin. Oh, well, I'll look at that in a moment. Okay, so there's the gendistry stuff. Uh, ICT now. Compressor. Okay. All right, let's look at this then. So with the compressor, we've got quite we've got 19 pages here. Um, lapis lazuli plate. Uh, compress the dust. Macerate the ore. Classic stuff. Okay. Cactus uh, compressed. It's going to make compressed plants. Let's just look at the. I, I like. I, to be honest, everyone likes looking at the industrial car stuff. Yeah, I'm, as you know, I'm not going to actually spoil it for myself. I'm, I want to do that in. Uh, you know, I'm going to be looking at the industrial craft stuff. It's just, it's just a, it's a formality, really. So compress bricks, compress four bricks to make um, brick block. This is this I'll never understand. Why is that? Cool? No, I suppose it does make sense, doesn't it? In a way. See, why are some of these? It's funny, this, isn't it? Hmm. Maybe, maybe. I mean, maybe, I don't know. I don't know why they've done that like that. I don't know why that's changed. Uh, yes, yeah, the classic coal chunk thing. Yeah. Uh, pumpkin seeds make compressed plants as well. So cause there's a few things that make compressed plants. That's cool. Okay. New new uh new textures for these things. Same sort of uh, same uh, deal there with them. Uh, air, so I think that's always been there. Okay. Make make everything a bit more dense. A lot of seeds make compressed plants. Water buckets make snow when compressed. This is same stuff again. Uh, Certus. Uh, I don't always forget. I'd like to be able to just recall the names of the... Um, uh, that was my first... I know it was in my first episode of Applied Energy because I did that stuff with the actual... Um, uh items uh with yeah, the um, with the tools rather from applied logistics yeah what are the names of the tools from applied logistics i can't remember at the moment still i'm going to go back to that scene as well so extractor sulfur comes out from gunpowder nice i don't remember this being the case but that is very nice indeed very very obvious as well in a way um i did a very good episode on creeper biology actually it's one of the achievement um hunter episodes um i would guess it's before episode 10 i'm not sure what episode it was i would say six to eight maybe in the the uh, in the description just simply says creeper biology and I, that was a very good episode very i the things i talked about i was very clear about that and I advise you to watch that one because creeper biology is, is a very interesting topic. Um, I mentioned a lot of the theories about how, whether they, you know, about sporulation, things like of that nature. Um, and I did, uh, what else did I do on that? A lot of, a lot of stuff, you know, if creepers live underground is the, you know, and what effect does having minerals underground due to the air and stuff like this, um, uh, uh, you know, and it was all about you know how the creepers reproduce and stuff, um, and how should the fact that a creeper is just an elongated pig originally should that somehow fit into the uh, uh, into the biology of it? And it was interesting. Um, yeah, extractus, not nothing really new there. Red coral. Interestingly, there's coral. There's a coral reef in biomes of plenty as well, isn't there? So we're seeing a lot of interactions with uh, Maori culture. So Maori culture is certainly moving up in the priority list at the moment. Uh, Nicolite dust. So this is so nether ores. 
so this is interesting you see it doesn't actually make yeah this is not this is not changing so interesting so you can make coal dust okay so wool makes string in the macerator yeah that's obvious coal makes coal dust yeah no the ferrous makes uh, pulverized ferrous metal okay so i could do nether ores as well interesting pink dye obsidian dust orange coral orange dye so the coral is made of the dye and the dust yes i would imagine this is gonna this is not just gonna be this this, this must be linked with thermal expansion as well snowball uranium crushed uranium or yeah platinum yeah here we go so this is the weird thing platinum makes shiny metal and then and then platinum is also osmium so oh dear oh dear i mean look at this and then pig iron makes steel dust basic components i've got an episode of that as well just and if you want to search for any of my videos just search for the name of the video i've put things in playlists but but the playlist I've, I've I've done playlists in a way that actually makes sense, which unfortunately isn't really that useful for viewing. Um, but I prefer sense, you know. I just prefer, I just prefer doing things that make sense, you know. I just can't help it. If it makes sense. It's better. Cobblestone makes sand. Yeah. Tin makes tin. Unsurprisingly. So tin gravel. Oh no, wait a minute. Nether tin makes tin. But all the other types of tin don't make tin. They make crushed tin. Hmm. So tin ores, tinkers construct. Cassiterite is e mashers. Tin gravel. So the gravel ore is also tinkers construct. Good to know. I think I probably knew that. A lot of stuff is tinkers construct. More than you might think. Coffee beans, coffee powder. Yep, yep. Gold dust. Yep. Redstone dust. Uh, crushed iron or yeah, Curtis, Certus. Yeah, there's Latin to be Curtum, but Curtis. I'd call it Curtis. I prefer it. But it sounds like mm, it sounds like Curtis, but it's Curtis. Oh well. Silver dust, Eulorium from big reactors. Okay, so this Nether ores seems to to chunk in with the, a lot of the other stuff. Iron dust, Flint, yes. Crushed plant, plant balls. No, just a plant ball. Plant ball makes dirt. Uh, more Mary culture stuff. Uh, bronze. What we've got here. Bronze. Forestry bronze. E masher. Mm. Yeah, so this is the interesting thing, isn't it? Because there are certain alloys. I believe in even Malyulin. Manyalin and alumite the alloys in Tinker's construct and and yeah and so they actually um so this this is kind of yeah and it's not it's not explicit is it for um say in what the brass is the alloy there isn't it it runs Tinker's alloy ingot bronze ingot is in Tinker's Construct. Thermal Expansion is the one. So that is a very confusing one. Tinker's Alloy Ingot is from Thermal Expansion. Wow. That is confusing. But good to know. And and probably now that I said it, I probably won't get confused. Fire can be melted down to iron. Interesting. Some of these, these are real left field recipes that yeah, you really got to know them because it's pretty cool if you come out of this stuff. So yeah, you know, I'm just going to do this with a, you know, it's Tinker's alloy. Yeah, yeah, it's a thermal expansion. It's not from Tinker's construct. It is cool though. Very, very cool. Brain coral. Wow. Lead. Let's see what we've got in lead. Lead thermal expansion. Lead magical crops. Galena or e masher. Galena or thermal. Oh. Galena is factorization, isn't it? No. Not this time. I'm sure Galena is in factorization. But luckily, I think there's a consistency because of the ore dictionary. 
spider eye grin powder. That's a very old recipe. Never did that stuff with grin powder and the spray, the CF spray and all that stuff. Didn't do that. But I, well, did I? I might have looked. I probably did just do something with it. What we got? Silver. We've got Reactor Craft Thermal Expansion. Magical Crops. Characterization Thermal Expansion. Magical Crops. Three types of silver. Okay, good. Fuel Rod. We've got the Gold Plates. Nether got nether, nether Redstone. Mm. Wow, Nether Redstone is packed with redstone. Very nice. Cucumber Coral makes brown dye. You see, this is funky. It is funky, isn't it? Alrighty then. Alrighty. Alrighty. What else we've got here? Oh, we've got some married culture stuff. Fish meal. Tin dust made from a tin can. Blaze powder. We get that quintupling. Nice. That's that's the five that's the five times. Industrial craft, old style. Okay. Oh, washing plant, crushed silver, or purified crushed silver, tiny pile of silver dust. This is Greg Tech style. That is such Greg Tech style, this all washing plant. This is so Greg Tech. Yeah, this is not, I can't, it's amazing it's in industrial craft. It doesn't, this does not seem industrial craft to me. It just doesn't, it doesn't, I don't know. It's 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 so, it's just funny. I don't know. I don't know why. Crushed tin or you get the purified crush and then the tin dust and then some egg and something else as well. It's it's good though. I like it. I do like it. I've got to admit. Crushed copper or purified crushed copper. And yeah, we've, we worked out how to get the crushed stuff. Cool. Sulfur dust there from the lead. Uh, crushed iron, we get purified crushed iron, tiny pile of iron dust, and the stone dust. Okay, uh, can machine now. What is going on here? Water bottles, we've got water, forestry, industrial craft, forestry, Minecraft, forestry, magic bees, industrial craft. What amount? A thousand, capacity eight. Plus CF powder. Ah, this is the new way to do that stuff. Lapis lazuli dust gets in on the mix. There's some coolant, which does look a little bit like ender pearl, ender, um, the thermal expansion ender pearl liquid. Mm. Nuclear fuel. Fuel rods. How's pork chops getting in the mix? I don't know about that. How interesting. <laughs> this is all food. You're thinking like, yeah, 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 nuclear fuel, yeah, enriched uranium fuel rods. And then there's just food randomly there. I'm going to have to look into this one. This is interesting to say the least. Is that it? It is. That is bizarre. Thermal centrifuge. Purified crushed iron. Let's see if we've got any more tool tips here. No. So thermal centrifuge is basically like a washing machine um, and used to extract, you know, band gap, electron band gap, mechanical equivalent, whatever. Clay, silicon dioxide. Uh, okay, purified crushed copper ore, tiny pile of tin dust, copper dust. Crushed copper ore, tiny pile of tin dust, copper dust, stone dust. Aha, the RTG fuel. This is this is very cool. This is this is like this is like a solar panel or something. Nuclear solar panel. That's what I'm going to call it. Plutonium iron dust. Probably get a lot of iron dust. This is a very powerful item though. Very expensive. Uh, depleted mox, uh, tiny pile of plutonium, plutonium, iron dust, uh, purified crushed uranium ore, tiny pile of uranium, uranium, crushed silver ore goes to silver dust and stone dust, crushed iron ore goes to tiny pile of gold dust, iron dust, stone dust, purified crushed lead ore, tiny pile of copper dust and lead dust, 
crash load. So often I'm I'm seeing this sort of trend. You actually get the uh, the real dust. Nothing. You just straight up, uh, you know, crushed iron, iron dust. Uh, iron seems to be linked with gold, uh, uh, lead, and copper, and tin all seem to be in the mix with each other. But that but it still holds true that if you've got the crushed, you're going to get the the regular dust out of it. Uh, fuel rods, you're going to get plutonium, uranium, iron, quad fuel. Is MOX fuel, which is a different type of fuel, plutonium. Again, you get iron from that. Quad fuel rod, plutonium, uranium, again, iron, crushed gold, or we get the gold dust, uh, silver dust, and stone dust. Stone dust? I think that's a new item. Stone dust, yeah. Crushed tin ore, again, we get tin dust, and we get a bit of. Uh, iron. So tin is with iron as well there. Uh, gold. Oh, we get gold. And we get silver. Gold and silver seem to be linked together in a way. Um, lead ore doesn't seem to have anything else. Oh, I guess lead doesn't get anything. Tin ore, though, gets a bit of iron. Okay, plutonium, iron. Tiny pile of plutonium. Yeah. Watch my Greg Tech episode one. You see, you see how this is similar to that. I've only done one episode of Greg Tech actually. It's a good episode though. Yeah, you know, only one episode, but it's a good one. That's what counts. Lithium dust, new contender. Hmm. Okay. Uranium, iron, plutonium. Very, very cool. Actually, did I um? Yeah, I did. You see, for this one, um, so we've got extruding mode, cutting mode, rolling. So there's four modes. We extrude the iron to get HV cable. Very cool. Very, very cool way of getting it. This is very cool, actually, just to get the cable like this. This looks like a very, very useful item indeed. Gold gets cold cable. So HV is um, 2000, uh, 2 to the 11, uh, 2 to the 9. Why did I, why I said that? I don't know. Iron fence from iron item casing. Interesting. Copper wire, uninsulated wire, 128 EU per tick. Uh, two to the seven. Okay. Uh, tin cable, two to the five. So tin is two to the five. Copper is two. Um, copper is two to the seven. Uh, gold is two to the nine. Iron two to the eleven. What's well, silver then? Isn't silver the best? Oh, maybe that's real life. <laughs> I don't know. I have a feeling silver is the best in real life. Copper plate. Okay, so it's all really just about creating wire. Same sort of stuff. Rolling gold plate, copper ingot, copper plate. Ah, uh, so this is how we get these item casings by rolling, rolling the item plates into the casing. What we got here? Lead for E-Masher, thermal expansion, rotary craft, industrial craft, E-Masher, blah blah blah. It's the thing with iron. No one uses. It's funny the iron just because it's a vanilla thing. It's just you know, it's just like oh, that's iron. Scrap box. So we got 1.8% chances of chicken cooked, pumpkin, 0.2 on diamond, 1.4 on bronze dust. Sorry, what? Yeah, see, this is something that I'm not sure about. Bronze dust. Why? How is that? How is that the case? I'm sure there's a reason for that. Is one I cannot work out the reason for that. Glowstone dust. Plantable steak. Obviously, using the recycler golden helmet. Wow, that's low. That is low. What is what is that? So one percent is, is is one in a hundred. Zero point one percent is uh, one in a thousand. Zero point zero one percent is one in ten thousand. One in twenty thousand chance you're going to get a golden helmet. So uh, let's say there's not some twelve-hour video someone doing that. Single-use battery. You can get a grass block. Nice, six percent on a grass block. Very nice. We've got no silk touch pick. 
we need to got a huge area of dirt. All we need is like one grass plot just to turn the whole thing into grassland that animals can feast on. 0 0.1, 2%, 1. So the standout here, yeah, this is, it's just, just keep familiarizing yourself with that bronze dust, that orangey color, earthy sort of color. 3% on the apple, nice. 4% on the netherrack, 2% mm, on the salsa, and it's okay. Gravel set six percent. I wonder if these are all up to a hundred. I haven't even seen. Probably do though. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I can say about that. Crafting, there we are, cutting knife, coarse wrench, that's it. Coarse glass, coarse shovel. Tiny TNT, gunpowder, nether quartz, dust, curse torts. Yeah. The grindstone. I mean, yeah, where does that come from, that thing? The grindstone, such an early game item. It's a good item though, isn't it? All right, so furnace time. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm going to separate this into two episodes. I wonder how much I've got left. Because this is quite a lot when I think about it. Um, but it's going to be worth going through it. Yeah, I've got, I'm going to have, I've got a fair bit left, actually. Um... And I'd like to be fresh for the um, just just fresh for the next section. And I kind of, you know, I kind of feel like, you know, there's only so much you can do, isn't there? Where before you feel like mm, I'm not going to be that fresh now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this for another episode. If you want to see the rest of the recipes, um, maybe there will be more stuff um, added. I don't I don't know, but it's going to carry on in NEI plugins. Remember, NEI plugins is a series I'm going to do to just go through lots and lots of recipes. Um, just to go, I, I want to I want to keep all the other series. I've noticed that with like with like some of the other videos, like with Whaler and with Morph, I was going for all the all the recipes right, and it was it was not it was, I wasn't focusing on the mod enough. So I really want to just do recipes and stuff, which are using the plugins in this series, NEI plugins to use this series for a lot of recipes. Um, and of course, I mean, for some mods, of course, it will be necessary to go through the recipes in that mod, in that mod specific one, just because it's so huge, it would, it would, it wouldn't make sense not to do that. Such is in, in the case with Harvest Craft. But anyway, until I go through the rest of the recipes, thanks for watching, and see you next time.